Maggie, look, lots and lots of people on the internet are looking at you right now. Look. Yeah, that's Magnus, but we call her Maggie. But, hi. Actually, I'm doing something in less than a month or six, however long it was the last time. Anyway, so, yeah, hello. Um, not a whole lot has been going on. Uh, nothing really of importance. I'm still working on my script. And I haven't gotten very far because I've kind of been a little lazy. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, my goal now is to write, like, two or three pages a day. <sighs> and that'll, that should give me a full, like, television link script. So we'll see about that. Um, school is going. Um, I, I just started my English, okay. my English, uh, Composition 1 class, which is basically a class that teaches you how to, um, do, like, college writing, which, um, I sort of, I mean, how do you not know what college writing is? I just got that one. Um, and so, yeah. Um, crap. <sighs> I'm recording this straight from my webcam, so I can't edit it, so I need to not be a dork. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, I, I really wish it was, like, a creative writing class, because I'm getting, I'm kind of getting tired of doing, like, the serious, uh, the serious beginner required crap. And the thing is, like, this school... Is they only let you take one class per uh, like course, so it, it, like one course is five weeks long. So every five weeks you are only allowed to take one class. And from what I understand, if you pass, if you get like twelve credits and you pass like a C or higher, they'll let you take two classes, two or more classes, or something like that. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should do that once I get um, to the classes that I know I'll do good on, and um, I won't, I guess, slack. Because how they each class when you're in each class, um, you always have two discussion posts a week. Um, you post, you post your dis like your answer to the discussion question each of them. You have to do that by day three, which is on a Thursday, and then on each of those you have to reply um, to two of your classmates. So that's four replies to the discussion post um, by day seven, which is Monday of the following Monday, um, and then also you'll have like uh, quizzes and writing assignments. And the quiz, and the, like the quiz, is due on Sunday, and the writing assignment is due on Monday, day seven. Because um, every it, each, like the first first day of class, like the first day of the week, they count is on Tuesday. So yeah, and that's how it works. And like my beef with all this is the discussion post. Like I have no problem answering the discussion posts, but I'm not a big commenter. Um, unless it's on something that I'm really passionate about or I'm really knowledgeable about and I feel that my reply will help the commenter in some way. Um, so when they ask me that when I have to do like well, I'm required to do four replies a week it, uh, it and it wouldn't be so bad if I could be if I could just say you know great discussion I liked how you um, talked about da 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 da, and that be it. But no, <clears throat> depending on the professor that you have, you have to um, like your replies have to be 150 to 200 words um, minimum. And the this last professor that I had, um, your replies that that was a requirement for your replies, and you had to. Um, lead 
there's like um you had to ask questions to the original poster and yeah it has to be different um uh like say the discussion was about Gardner's theories um you would have to like you would read their reply and then in your reply you'd have to ask something like um how how do you how do you feel Garner's theories have impacted your life now that you are familiar with them? Um, do you sense that? Um, do you identify with more with one intelligence over the other now that you are familiar with it, or something like that? And I can't do like I, I hate doing that. I really do, and I hate that it's required, but because it's strictly online and when I went to college the first time um, I went to an actual campus and it was easier because all like yeah you could participate in um, like the what the teacher or the professor was discussing and stuff and you could reply to him and blah 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 but it what it, you didn't feel compelled you know you, you didn't have to Really, I mean, you just did your assignments, handed them in, did your tests, and you were on your way. way. And that's what I like. Like, I, I just want to do my like. I just want to write my reply to the discussion post, do my quiz and my written assignment, and be done. I don't want to interact with these other people. Like, I just me. I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing this for me. I know that seems stupid, but. I don't know, maybe I'm being a big baby about this, but, but, but I'm going to keep going because I really want my degree in cultural anthropology. And um, everybody's always asking me, what can you do with a cultural anthropology degree? You can basically do anything with a cultural anthropology degree. Because, I mean, about culture, basically. So, I mean, I can be a social worker, a librarian, I can work in a museum. Um, corporate marketing, it's a whole bunch of stuff that I could do. And then uh, I think after I get my cultural anthropology degree, uh, I'm I'm gonna go and go back. I'm probably gonna choose a different school than Ashford, cause, well, oh, but I'm already putting myself in debt with the freaking student loans. So, anyways. So I'm going to turn back around and get a degree in forensic anthropology because what I would really like to do is work for the FBI or something. And no, it's not because of Bones. If you know me, you will know it's because of X-Files. But yeah, so that's what I want to do. Um, but if that doesn't pan out, then I would be really happy working in a museum or uh, tr getting grants to travel around the world and study other cultures in like Asia and you know stuff like that. That would be awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk about life in general. Um, I recently got rid of a negative person in my life and it felt awesome. Like um, she was very religious and. <sighs> I like a while back I tried like the whole like Christianity religious thing mostly for my husband's benefit because I felt like it would make him feel better if you know but I the, sorry the more um the more I kind of went along with it the more I was like I, I can't do this this is not for me um it just I couldn't do it I like I couldn't I couldn't lie to myself like that. I couldn't be somebody I wasn't. Um, so I kind of you know broke out of my shell again and started being who I really was. And um, and then I met this girl named Branwyn. Well, I shouldn't call her a girl. She's a woman. I met this woman named Branwyn, and she is she's awesome. I love her so much. Um, she kind of like opened my eyes to a different world that I knew existed, but um, 
never kind of stepped my toe into and it's I love her so much and um, she's just she's a vegan um, she well uh, I don't think I really should reveal too much about her because I don't know how she would feel about that but I, like she's awesome and like the whole vegan thing she introduced me to that and I loved it I, I loved like what I was seeing like the benefits of it and so I you know I had always been kind of curious about that and wanting to do that and after you know seeing hearing what she told me and watching like Forks Over Knives which is an awesome documentary it's on Netflix you need to watch it Forks Over Knives and it basically tells you um, why meat is bad basically um, and so I decided that I you know wanted to try veganism I know v veganism vegan is not a diet it's a lifestyle and I was doing okay for about two weeks and then I slipped and ate some meat and I'm trying to get back on the path and it's looking like I'm probably not going to be vegan it's um, more vegetarianism like um, lacto ovo which means I can eat dairy and eggs which I would be okay with uh, so, well, I would most, I would probably skip like the dairy part, like the milk part. I I would probably I would still eat cheese and stuff, but milk does weird stuff to my stomach anyways. So I would probably stick to soy milk. I like soy milk very much, so much better. Um, and yeah, so it's looking like vegetarianism, lacto ovo, but we'll see. Um, I've been working out at the gym, but and that's awesome. But I went off on a tangent. Anyways, I read a mega person. She was a really religious person and she was always um I guess judging what I was like we were really different. Like she was really conserv like um conservative, like she liked she didn't uh, she, she liked to cover up and which I mean that's fine, but you know, to say I'm I guess weird for having like a low cut top like I'm wearing my seeker shirt right now which is awesome um just saying that I was weird for wearing low cut tops and we had different fashions that's fun and we also role played and I would <sighs> we would get nowhere because there was no plot or anything to it and I couldn't stand that and just I don't know. Anyway, and I would not get on Skype or anything for you know, days at a time because I just didn't feel like it, and I didn't think that I owed her an explanation, you know, or you know, like my world did not revolve around the internet and Skype. I I would get online, I would check Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, and that would be it. And then I'd get off, and I would go watch movies with my husband. You know, and she would think like when I would come back online, she would think that I was mad at her or some crap like that. I'm like, really? But the thing that broke the the, the straw that broke the camel's back, and I probably have to hurry because I'm hitting the 15 minute mark. Um, was when I, you know, I was talking about you know being ve like transitioning to a vegan lifestyle and all, and I was telling her, you know, how, um. I think it was like I was on I was halfway through my first week um, and I was telling her like how great I was feeling um, and from just eating fruits and vegetables and stuff like that and um, then she had I, she said something about um, she had to finish her Gatorade and I was like oh man I can't have Gatorade anymore I miss it she was like why can't you have Gatorade and I told her because it's made with refined sugar which is processed with animal bone well most of them are processed with animal bone and I mean there's no way to tell which ones are and which ones aren't so it's basically a rule that you know refined sugars are a no no um, and she uh, she thought she told me that um, that my that uh, being vegan was total crap and all this other stuff and finally I was like yep yeah, I'm done I can't do it anymore and it feels like ever since I've done that like this big huge weight was lifted off of my shoulder so 
Yeah. And okay, I'm going to end this one right now. I, have, I still have more I want to talk about. So this ends part one. So, mm. be back in a little bit. Probably. Hopefully.